Well, good evening. From the Perry household, we're, oh, I gotta sneeze. Ooh, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Excuse you. God bless you. <laughs> oh, excuse me and my sneezing. Okay, we're coming live today from Casa Perry. <laughs> and uh, I thought that you guys might enjoy, oops. It's telling me to rotate my phone. You can't turn while recording. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Moving a lot. So, uh, Bailey and I were talking... I have a lot of people who are moms and parents on here who uh, run their company, single moms, single dads, uh, you know, running their company and learning how to juggle the parent life while they're running their business. And if we're being really honest, it can be the biggest pain source because if you for one second believe that running your company or scaling your company will hurt your children, you won't do it. That's it, period, end of story. So tonight we have Bailey Perry on here for her to tell you her genuine experience of what it's like while I build my company as a single mom. Uh, and we were just talking about, you know, teamwork and what it looks like and how Bailey's aware that my company you know, brings healing to the world and helps a lot of people and, um, and how she has needs and desires. And if she feels comfortable and safe expressing and asking for what she needs and what she desires, knowing that there's also, you know, mom has her purpose and mom has her boundaries and desires too. So, um, what's it like for you, Bailey? Um, it's like, um, I'll say an example. So, Maybe like, um, say you have a pet cat and she wants to play, hang out with you sometimes, but at the same time, sometimes she doesn't. And you have a pet dog that every single second wants to hang out with you. That is so valid. That's how cats and dogs really are. Because hmm. I have a cat and a dog. Yep. Um... My dog's name is Nacho, um, and my cat's name is Midnight, and she wants to hang out with me sometimes, and sometimes Nacho wants, and all the time Nacho wants to hang out with me. You have to separate the time with both of them and make sure that they each get an equal amount of time. That's what it's like for me. He is so smart. <laughs> so... This was just like, I'm going to just like hand off a couple of the things that I've learned that I've made because it's not easy. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that being a single mother with two kids in a state where I don't have any family here uh, is easy on any level while I run a global company and scaling that the level I'm scaling at, just having joined the Platinum and, um, you know, rearranging the back of my company and hiring new people. It's not easy, but uh, there's ways to make it easier. And one of the greatest things that I ever learned and what Bailey and I were talking about today was like... I don't super feel, I don't feel available for not scaling my company the way I want to and living my purpose. And I also don't feel available for Bailey feeling like, or any of my children feeling like they don't get to have the experience of life with me that they long to have. So sometimes my kids will feel, or Bailey will feel like, um, like I'm too busy for her and she'll express that. Like, it just feels like I want time with you. feels like you're too busy. You know, you're traveling a lot, et cetera, et cetera. So the standard for Bailey and I is there's always a solution to every problem. Every time, there's always a solution. So Bailey and I will talk about if we know there's a solution where mommy gets to live the life she wants and Bailey gets to have the experience of life that she wants, then what's the solution and we get creative. So today we were just talking about um, what would it look like if it's a win-win for Bailey and I? What does she like to do that I like to do? And the thing that I learned that made being a mompreneur a lot easier was recognizing what makes Bailey feel loved, right? What makes my son Calvin feel loved? Like what to them feels really important and special and they feel loved. So I don't have to sit there and feel guilty that I'm not giving massive amounts of time. Like it was, I'm going to say this bluntly, this is going to sound blunt, but when I was poor and I hung out with poor friends and, and was more in the poor atmosphere, because that's what it's like, uh, we have a story as poor people that the most valuable thing we can do is give our children all of our time which I think is complete crap. I don't think that's good. I don't think that's real. I think that carries on 
um, a system of feeling of, of indebtedness and teaching your children that you're supposed to overgive and that you're not allowed to do the things that light you up. So what I teach my daughter is that I get to do the things that light me up. I get to leave an impact on this planet and her and I get to have massive, awesome connection time. But it's not about spending every second together. It's about having quality time where we're both genuinely enjoying ourselves and we're connecting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we talked about was what does she love to do that I also love to do and what makes her feel most loved and more spe and most special. And same thing with my son. Like, what does he like that makes him feel most special, most loved? And then it's honing in on having that quality time with them versus feeling like I have to spend all my time with them and not feeling guilty that I'm traveling 10 days a week. And, and, uh, and then also having social time because I'm a single woman. So also having single time is something on my radar, right? So for anyone who's single parent, you're also wanting some time to be social and being around other adults and have fun. And so putting all that in there, there's a lot. You know what I mean? And this is how we navigate it. Did you want to say something? Um, I wanted you to say the things that we worked out to do together. Okay, so what we worked out that we could do together was shopping. Although that was a Mandy doesn't like that. Bailey likes that one. But Mandy needs to do that one. Uh, she likes to ride her bike while I run. But she needs a new bike. So we're getting a new bike. Uh, she likes to show me all her new tricks. I love to watch all her new tricks. Uh, going out to eat when Bailey brings her friends. We all love that. Going to aquariums, going hiking, doing cooking lessons together because mama can't cook worth a dang and kayaking. And then Bailey's coming with me to UPW. I can't wait. She saw the videos of it and she's down for it. She's a little bit young to go, but I think she can handle it because she's pretty advanced to her age. No surprise given the life that she's lived with me. And she wants to go to the light show that's downtown. So I hope this serves some of you parents out there who are running a company and feeling guilty. Release the guilt. It's, it's just not okay. And it's not okay to let the kids just run the show either and for us to feel like they can demand 24-7 access to us because that's not healthy for them either, right? Because they're not learning how – if they get to demand 24-7 access to us, then when they grow up, they're going to feel like other people can demand 24-7 access from them. And they're not going to have the appropriate boundaries. And then they're not going to feel the freedom and the joy of living their purpose and having that freedom and traveling the world while still being able to feel like a really fantastic parent or sister or friend or whatever it is, right? Because that's how I felt before before I got um, taught that that's not okay. Yeah, because us humans like to take whatever we can get. So we can demand someone's attention 24-7. We do, but it doesn't mean that that's what's good for us. Um, can I point something out that I did today? Yep. And that they should do if they live in Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's something downtown. It's called, it's called the Farmer's Market. Me and my dad went today. It's every... Downtown Sarasota. Um, yeah, downtown Sarasota. Hi, um, Who else is here? Say hi. Hi. Um, it's... Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. Every single Sunday. They have the farmer's market, and it's downtown, downtown Sarasota, and I just want to point out that you guys should go if you live in Florida. Because it's so much fun. And what do you say to the kids out there, or what do you say to the moms out there that are feeling guilty for going after their dreams, or the dads out there that have parents? Hi, Anne, how are you? The, the parents out there that are working hard, and their kids are maybe getting upset because... Don't feel guilty and tell their and tell your kids that that's not right and that they shouldn't be demanding your attention every second. And then what? How do they also connect with their kids and make it better? Plan things in your calendar and um whenever you have the free time or whenever you're not whenever you want to hang out with them. Feel free to. So plan in the calendar. And hang out with them whenever you feel like it. Hang out when you, you want like to. It. And what should they tell their kids about? Like, what do their kids need to hear? What did you need to hear from mommy? What did you need to know? I needed to know that you loved me and that you care for me. But I can't have your attention every second because that's stressful for you. Little brilliant child here. Okay, that's the wisdom nuggets from Miss Bailey Perry today. I hope that served you all. It was really a big shift for me to get away from the mentality of time equals love. And really like time spent does equal love for some people, but that mass amounts of time equals love. And really realizing that 
when you find out your children's love language, which if you haven't read the book, Love Languages, they have them for kids specifically. I would definitely recommend uh, the five love languages for children, reading that book and then figuring out your children's love language and giving that to them. And then releasing all the rest of the guilt of what you should have, could have and needed to do and how it could have been better and really give yourself permission to thrive and to go after your dreams and to give yourself what you need to feel healthy, feel lit up, feel excited because your only job is to do whatever you need in order to feel good because when you feel good, you do good. Anne said, nicely put, Bailey. Thank you, Anne, and thank you, Paul, because Paul said, um... Paul's from back home in, in Massachusetts, Rhode yeah. Island area. Yes. Okay, guys, we love you very much. Hope this served you. What do you want to say? Spend time with your children and... Go after your dreams. And work hard. Work hard, play hard. Wait, Mom, can I go grab the rock to show them the rock? Sure. I guess you're going to get to see a rock that Bailey wants to show you. I really actually genuinely do hope this serves you guys because this is the biggest pain point for most parents, right? Like feeling guilty taking time for yourself, spending money on yourself, investing heavily, and then having to show up big and feeling that tension about showing up for your kids. There's a way to do both in total integrity and everybody gets what they need, but it does need to be boundaries set with the children because they will expect way more than they, uh, it's healthy for them to have. Work hard to get what you want slash need. Work hard to get what you want slash need. That is so right. You can have anything if you're willing to work for it, right? Mm-hmm. Good night. Thank you, Tina. Good night. <laughs>